Hey there, Pi family. Welcome back to our little corner of the internet. Today, we're diving deep into another Pi Network video, and boy, do we have a lot to talk about. Are you ready to go on this journey with me? Let's jump right in. Oh, and stick around till the end because I've got a special surprise for all you Pi enthusiasts. Trust me, you're gonna wanna hear this. It's something you can actually wear to show off your Pi pride. But more on that later. First, let's dive into the good stuff. You know, I've been thinking a lot about Pi lately. It's crazy how far we've come, right? But here's the thing, there's still so much going on behind the scenes that we don't even realize. So I thought, why not share some of these mind-blowing insights with you all? First things first, let's talk about what Pi really is. Have you ever stopped to think about it? It's not just another crypto project. Nah, it's way bigger than that. Pi is aiming to become a real currency like the kind you could use to buy goodies or pay your bills. Pretty wild, huh? But here's the kicker. Becoming a currency isn't a walk in the park. It's like trying to change the rules of a game while everyone's still playing. You've got governments, big financial players, and all sorts of people who might not be too happy about it. And for this sake, many governments and big financial players are afraid of what Pi Network can do once is ready 100%. It's like Pi is saying, hey, we're gonna shake things up a bit. That's not just business as usual, that's a revolution. Now you might be wondering, why would governments and big banks be worried about Pi? Well, buckle up, because this is where things get really interesting. Think about it. Governments use traditional money to control things like inflation and interest rates. It's how they keep the economy stable. But with Pi, they can't do that. It's like trying to steer a car when someone else has the wheel. And then there's the whole regulation thing. You know how banks have to follow all these rules? Well, with Pi, it's not so easy to keep track of everything. It's like trying to count fish in a river. They're always moving. But it's not just about control. There are some real worries about stability too. You know how Bitcoin prices go up and down like a roller coaster? Well, if Pi became really big, those kinds of swings could affect a lot of people. And here's something that might surprise you. Governments are worried about people losing faith in banks. Imagine if everyone suddenly decided to keep their money in pie instead of the bank. It could cause some serious problems. Now let's talk about taxes for a second. With regular money, the government can see who's paying what. But with pie, it's not so easy. It's like trying to see through a really foggy window. You can make out shapes, but the details are fuzzy. And don't even get me started on security. You know how we're always hearing about hackers and scams? Well, with new currencies like Pi, there's a whole new playground for the bad guys. It's like we're building a brand new city and we need to make sure we've got good locks on all the doors. But here's the thing that really gets me thinking. What if Pi changes everything? I mean, we're talking about shaking up how money works all over the world. That's huge. It's like when cars replaced horses. Suddenly everything had to change. And you know what else? There's this big question about fairness. Some people worry that new currencies like Pi might make the rich richer and leave everyone else behind. It's like if we invented teleportation, but only some people got to use it. Not cool, right? Now here's where it gets really tricky, the law. You know how there are rules for everything? Well, with Pi, we're in new territory. It's like we've discovered a new country and now we need to figure out all the laws. And let's not forget about protecting people. The government wants to make sure that if you put your money into something, you're not gonna lose it all. With Pi, that's a whole new challenge. But you know what? Despite all these challenges, Pi is still growing. It's like a little seed that's turning into a big tree, even though the weather's not always perfect. Remember when you first joined Pi? I bet it was nothing like you expected. There was barely any info out there, right? Just a white paper and some Zoom chats. No fancy videos, no step-by-step -step guides. We were all just figuring it out as we went along. Here's a question for you. Do you remember who told you about Pi or how it even got to your country? It's crazy to think about, but most of us don't even know who the early pioneers were. They were out there spreading the word and we didn't even realize it. But here's the really mind-blowing part. Despite all that, Pi grew like crazy. In less than eight months, they hit 10 million members. Without spending a dime on marketing, how insane is that? 
It's like Pi had some kind of magic that just drew people in. And let's talk about those early days for a sec. If you joined before 2021 or 2022, you probably remember just tapping that button every day, right? We had no clue about mining sessions or reward formulas. We were just happy to be part of something new. But Pi had some surprises up its sleeve. Turns out those early birds got some pretty sweet rewards. It's like Pi was saying, hey, thanks for believing in us from the start. Pretty cool, right? Now here's where things get really interesting. Have you been keeping an eye on the blockchain network? It's like a roller coaster ride. One day, China's in the lead. The next, Japan's numbers are through the roof. Singapore and the US are in on the action too. It's like watching a global game of musical chairs. But here's the thing that's really got me scratching my head. The numbers don't quite add up. Pi says there are about 250,000 nodes out of 120 million members. But when I look around, it seems like way more people are running nodes. What do you think? Have you noticed this too? And don't even get me started on the ecosystem. Every hackathon brings new ideas, but nothing's quite hit the bullseye yet. Even Pi Chain Mall, which seemed like a sure thing, didn't quite make it. It's like Pi's playing a whole different game, and we're just trying to figure out the rules. But here's what I'm really excited about. Carbon credits. Yep, you heard that right. Pi's getting into the carbon credit game, and it could be a game changer. We're talking about a global event certified by Pi. How cool is that? And remember that phrase, fortified Lao status? Dr. Nicholas, you know, the big boss, keeps talking about it. I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty important down the line. Now, I know what you're thinking. This all sounds great, but what does it mean for me? Well, here's the deal. Pi isn't just about making money. It's about being part of something bigger. It's about changing the way we think about money, about transactions, about the whole financial system. Think about it. We're part of a community that's spread across the globe. We're all working towards the same goal, even if we don't always know what that goal looks like. It's like we're all pieces of a giant puzzle, and slowly but surely the picture is coming together. But here's the most important thing, we're all in this together. Whether you joined yesterday or you've been here from day one, you're part of the Pi family. And in this family, we look out for each other. So what's next for Pi? Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. But that's what makes this so exciting, right? We're on this wild ride together and who knows where it'll take us. Now I've got a challenge for you. Next time you're chatting with your Pi buddies, ask them what they think about all this. What surprised them the most? What are they excited about? What do they think is coming next? Let's get those conversations going. And hey, while you're at it, why not reach out to someone new in the Pi community? Share your experiences, your hopes, your questions. That's how we grow stronger as a community. Remember, every time you tap that button, every time you run a node, every time you tell someone new about Pi, you're part of something big. You're not just earning some digital tokens. You're helping to shape the future of money itself. So, what do you say? Are you ready to keep pushing forward? Are you ready to be part of this revolution? Because I'll tell you what, I sure am. And I'm so glad I've got all of you alongside me. Before I wrap this up, I want to hear from you. What part of Pi's journey has surprised you the most? What are you most excited about for the future? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. And hey, if you found this helpful, why not share it with your Pi Circle? The more we all understand about what's going on, the stronger our community becomes. Oh, and before I forget, I've got a special treat for all you Pi enthusiasts out there. If you're looking to show off your Pi pride, I've added a link in the video description to some awesome Pi Network t-shirts. These aren't just any shirts, they're like a badge of honor for us pioneers. Imagine sparking conversations about Pi wherever you go. So if you want to wear your passion on your sleeve, literally, check out that link. It's a great way to represent our community and maybe even bring some new folks into the Pi family. That's all for now, Pi fam. Remember, we're all pioneers here. We're exploring new territory, charting unknown waters. It's not always going to be easy, but man, is it going to be worth it. Until next time, keep mining, keep learning, and keep believing in the power of Pi. We're making history here one tap at a time, catch you on the flip side.